Does anyone else get scared when they go to the wrong house? Well, I do, and here's why. So, I deliver in a relatively small town in Tennessee, with a very high proportion of rednecks, and, for lack of a better term, white trash. Sometimes the people don't have numbers on their mailbox, or I can't read their apartment number. And every time I walk up to a house and I'm unsure if I'm in the right place, I get really nervous. I've heard many rednecks wax poetic about how they wish a motherfucker would try to break into their house so they could see what happens. I'm talking about the kind of people that get a hard-on when they think about blowing someone's brains out so that, for once in their useless lives, they can feel like a hero. Not to mention my fear of accidentally going to some tweaker's house only to get shot through the door because they think I'm a cop. I've tried to tell myself it's an irrational fear and that no one is going to pull a gun on a pizza guy. Well, a few days ago, I had a delivery out to the sticks. It was this little cul-de-sac on the outskirts of our delivery range, definitely in the country. But it was still a fairly nice neighborhood you would expect to be inhabited by old people and families. Very clean, nice lawns, etc. It looked pretty solidly middle class. So I go up to the house with my order in hand and knock on the door. I'm waiting a minute and no one comes. So I knock a little harder. And then the fear starts creeping in. I start to think maybe I'm at the wrong house and I'm getting a little anxious. So I decided to go back to the car and call the customer to confirm the address. As I turn to go back, I see a man come around the corner of the house with a gun pointed at me. So I turn to fully face him so that he can see that I have an armload of pizzas. I've always wondered in a situation like this if I would run or freeze or what. But I was surprised at how calm but mostly angry I was in the moment. He honestly looked more scared than I did holding his gun. All I could think to say was, Bro, chill, I'm a fucking pizza guy. After a few beats, he realized what was happening and lowered the gun. All he had to say was, Oh, uh, I didn't order any pizza. I said, Yeah, no shit. And he turns right back around the corner and shuffled away. No apologies. No, wow, I'm so sorry for scaring you like that. Nothing. And just to show how unshocking that kind of behavior is, his neighbor came out right as the gun dude was going inside. He didn't see what had happened. So I thought maybe the neighbor had ordered the pizza, since I was obviously at the wrong house. I asked the neighbor if he ordered a pizza, and he said, No, but maybe he did, and gestured at the house I was just at. I said, well, it definitely isn't his, because he just pulled a gun on me. And his neighbor goes, huh, and shrugged his shoulders like I had just told him I think it might rain later. No response, just totally normal behavior around here, I guess. Eventually, I did find the right house, and didn't even bother to mention that her neighbor had pulled a gun on me less than two minutes ago. On my way back to the shop, I thought about calling the cops. But I decided it wasn't worth it since they wouldn't do anything because I was on his property. Even though it is technically illegal to brandish a firearm against someone who isn't threatening you. I still can't believe that whole thing happened. Like, did this guy seriously think home intruders knock? Did he think I was a polite robber who wanted to knock twice and make sure he was okay with me breaking into his house? I used to be a delivery driver for a relatively large pizza chain with stores in the west and northwest of the United States. Here's one of my horror stories. I was driving a single large pizza and a salad out to one of the bigger, scuzzier apartment complexes in town, towards the highway. I hadn't delivered there before as I was new to the job at the time. It had been a pretty normal evening. Business at this chain was usually slow because our town has lots of local pizza places that are much more popular. Anyway, I'll set the scene. I'm driving out to this place. I turn the last corner and park. I look at the address on the ticket. It's the top floor. Of course it is. I climb the three flights of stairs and look for the number. For some reason I can't find it. I figure I'm just skipping over the door without thinking about it and keep looking. I finally found the right door. 
I couldn't see it before because the porch light was off and the numbers were tilted at a weird angle, like they were falling from the door. Usually, people who are expecting an order leave the light on, so that was a little weird. I woke up to this dark apartment and knock on the door. I hear quick footsteps. Not unusual, I'm often the highlight of the day, so people get excited. I hear several locks click and unlatch on the other side of the door. Now I'm starting to get a little weirded out. Why does this guy have so many locks? The door opens and reveals a surprisingly clean-cut dude. He's freshly shaven, his short hair looks meticulously done up, and he's wearing a button-down. He looks about 35. I quickly look past him into his apartment and see that it's mostly empty, save a table next to the kitchen counter. On the table lie a few wadded bills. The man looks at me, gives a quick hello, and tells me that my money is on the table. He stares at me, tells me again to go grab the money, and I'm immediately worried. One of the first rules of delivery is avoid going inside if at all possible. I'm getting really, really creepy vibes from this situation. Clutch the pizza and salad. I'm not going in, I say as firmly as I can manage. The guy looks flustered, like his plot to kidnap the pizza delivery person has failed miserably. Just to be sure he's not going to do anything funny, I reach down for the pepper spray I keep on my waist. Safety first. The guy seems defeated and hands me the money, takes his pizza and salad, and slams the door. Didn't even count the bills, so I ended up getting a pretty big tip. I'm not a delivery driver anymore. In 2019, I was a delivery driver for a place I won't name. I'd been a delivery driver for a while and I loved the job. I'm super extroverted and I love chatting with people, and it was just fun. I also had my fair share of mildly creepy encounters, given that I'm a girl and I was delivering in one of the sketchier areas of my city. I never thought much of any of them or saw any real threat. One night in particular has stuck with me though. I worked the night shift, so from 4pm to 10pm. Around 8 p.m. that night, some guy ordered his food and the delivery was easy enough. His house was kind of creepy, there were no lights on, and when he answered the door, there was a foul smell that immediately hit me. He also didn't say anything. I said my usual, there's that for you and could I get you to fill this out? The tip thing. He didn't reply at all or acknowledged me asking him to sign a slip didn't think much of it and headed back to the store. Almost exactly when I arrived back, another order popped up to the same house. He had ordered the exact same thing. I was confused at first, but still not too worried and took the delivery and had the same experience. No lights on, smelled bad and he didn't say a word. Headed back to the store once again, feeling pretty uncomfortable, but didn't think too much of it. I started to get extremely uncomfortable when I arrived back to the store and another identical order was up. My manager at the time didn't understand the creepiness of the whole thing and insisted I take it. Despite my reluctance, I took it. This time, when he opened the door, I told him, you can order more than one sandwich at a time, you know, as a sort of attempt at humor. He didn't say anything and closed the door. I was thoroughly creeped out and I did a sort of sprint back to my car. When I looked back at the house, I noticed a light was on and I saw someone standing in the window. Couldn't make out any features, but I just assumed it was him. In the end, I still don't know who was standing in the window or why. My manager called me from the store before I was even able to start my car to inform me that another identical delivery had popped up and he directed me to leave as quickly as I could because he was starting to see the danger of the situation. As the call ended, I saw the man running up to my car. I couldn't move for a second because I was in shock. He was yelling something that I couldn't understand, and I sped away as fast as possible, given that I was shaking like a leaf. We blacklisted him that night, after he made several attempts to call the store. I still have no idea what his endgame was. 